Hello folks and welcome to another Richard Head Longbows video here on the Richard Head Longbows channel. The clue is in the name, that's Richard Head. We make longbows and this is our channel. If you've never been here before, welcome. Where have you been? This is where we make bows and arrows and try and help you make your first project or maybe brush up on some of your skills on your bow making journey. And of course it's not just bows that we make here, it's also arrows. And that's what we're having a look at today here on the table, with specific reference to um, matching. We've done some videos before on matching arrows, on how you match arrow shafts and things like that to your bow. We're looking at something slightly more different, some of the minutiae of weighing bits and pieces involved with making arrows. What do we mean briefly by um, matching arrows? As I say, we've already gone over it before, but just to catch people up on what we're actually talking about when we yes. say matching <laughs> arrows. Well, first of all, it's the spine of the arrow. If you're shooting a long bow, the arrow has to bend around the bow because the bow is not set cut center shot like a lot of modern bows are. So it's important the arrow can bend around the bow as you shoot it. So that, that's the, the whippiness of the shaft. And every shaft we get, we get them from the manufacturers and they're in spine ranges. But we've found that once the shaft is made, the wood carries on maturing and it can stiffen up a little bit. So we always recheck them. So any shafts that we, we sell, are, we mark on the end what, the, what they are. Not saying that doesn't vary with atmospheric conditions and whether it's hot or cold, but you're going to get a shaft that is what it says it is. So that's spine. Yeah, that's the other the thing spine. we do is we weigh them. We weigh them. Not always, but we can weigh them for people if they want it. Uh, we've got a couple of shafts uh, here, just picked out at random. If I put them on the weighing scales. And these are grain scales. These are grain and what scales. What we mean by that is we're using the measurement of grains, not grams. People get them confused. Same first letter. Yeah. That's, that's but it's right. grains. These are, these are grains, not grams. Yeah. They're grains. Which, which is... measures very, very small amounts. Yes. We'll weigh, weigh a feather in a minute, but you're yeah. looking about a feather weighs about two or three grains. Yeah. Uh, we have got some scales. We, these are the scales that we, we will sell to people. So they're an inexpensive scale that you can mm. buy. They're if you want the catalogue to match yeah. your own stuff we have got some scales very accurate and they actually weigh the dust on the pan uh, we <laughs> don't true. want to go to that extent <laughs> we will show you those but yeah. <laughs> so it's a couple of random shafts we'll put that one on essential you try and get it balanced in the center we provide a little uh, support to stop the arrow so that's what's that 432, 432 grains 432 yeah. and if we weigh this other one three, four, seven. So like 80 odd grains difference. Mm. So that was like just that. some random ones, a couple of random a bunch. shafts. So this shows what we're talking about as far as matching is concerned. So it means the wheedling out of anomalous shafts yeah. that weigh outside of a range that you want to be able to match to your bow. Yes. So, you know, that's, that's why we're doing it. That's why we weigh them. Yeah. So your average shaft is probably going to be plus or minus 20 grains. But I mean, you've got something like this, which is as much as a pile weight different mm. to the other. You've got to wheedle those out really if you can. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so if you're able to match them, great. We found that some people coming from shooting modern bows with carbon arrows, aluminium arrows, which are very, very accurately matched, and imagine that they can do the same thing with a wooden arrow. Uh, if you want to spend a lot of time, you'd need to go through an awful lot of shafts, weighing them, mm. spining them. Yeah, it's possible, mm. uh, but generally it's it's not. And... Um, our little little booklet here, which um, we've got some information in, goes back to the Victorian era when it was just longbows and there were some very good longbow archers. <clears throat> and generally the weight of arrows was weighed in, uh, um, yeah, there was marked as shillings on them actually, but it was the nearest silver threepenny bit which was 22 grains. So they matched them within 22 grains, which is a silver threepenny bit. And there are some old scales with pans on them. You put an arrow on one and your, your coins on the other and, and weigh them up. Of course, I don't remember any of this because I'm uh, not as no. old as him. We got an arrow here, actually, which was made by Charlie Warmingham, who was the uh, bowyer to the Woodman of, Mar Woodman of Arden in Meriden. And that one's got four shillings oh, yes, marked on it. Uh, is actually marked on there. 
Yeah. So I've weighed a set of those arrows and they are pretty accurate. He must have spent a long time working on those. But it's obviously not just the shafts. I think this is the, really the point of this video is people, not everyone, but a lot of people don't seem to realize it's not just matching the shafts, the physical wood shaft. It's all the other bits that you put on it. Um, and that's what we've got here is to sort of demonstrate some of the yeah. potential discrepancies you can have with the other bits and pieces you then add to that shaft. Yeah, but don't think you can get your arrows matched to within a, a grain. No. Possible, <laughs> it but is possible. not easy to do and not necessary. No. I mean, if, if the old archers in the Victorian era were shooting arrows and getting tremendous scores with an arrow that's plus or minus 10 grains, well, fine, that, they mm. must, that must be good enough. Mm. Uh, we generally find that the uh, equipment is is better than the archer, uh, so so that's the, that's the shaft. So you can see the big variance in the shaft, and that's where you need to start, really. So what bits do we add to a shaft then that we can weigh and check? Right, we will then have some piles, and you might think, well, machine-made piles, accurately made in a uh, factory, are going to be pretty accurate. This is a standard bag of piles that you would buy, a bag of 12, like we sell on our website. These are marked as... 63 grains. So these should be 63, 63 grains. grains, but within the tolerance that that particular company that makes these allows. Yeah. So we'll just show you now what difference you can Oops. potentially get, if That's we can get them to balance. Get it standing up. That's 65, 65 grains. So you're two grains out for a start. For yeah. A start. yeah. Probably there aren't even any that makes it. 63, what's that one? Yeah, that's 65. That's also 65. 65. Well, they all match so far, <laughs> but none of them are 63. <laughs> 65. <laughs> You've given me a good bag. Yeah, you? that's a really, oh, that's no, 63. That's 63. Okay, so that's two grains difference. Just in the piles. Just in the piles. That that's one's six, 60, that's 63. 63. So, that, yeah. So it varies. The tolerance, obviously, is okay. And as Richard said, it's not horrendous. No. But it does mean if you're trying to make a set of arrows exactly the same, matching them exactly, you'd have to sell it by a bag of 100 piles yeah. and pick all the ones out of those piles. Yeah. It becomes very uneconomical yeah. I mean, to try and get that amount exactly. of accuracy. Someone it's, came it's, along and said, oh, can you make some <laughs> arrows you match within five grains? Um, yes, it's possible, but mm. you can weigh the shaft and everything, get all mm. that ready. And then the pile, you find is there are two or three grains difference in the weight of the pile. So it's not just the piles. What else have we have we got there then that we that we're going to need to add to our arrows? Uh, well, we've got knocks, and we randomly weighed some of these. And these, I mean, there's, there's not much in them anyway. Just plastic, plastic, plastic knock. knock. Yeah. So that. How much is that? So that's twelve grains. Twelve grains. So a knock weighs twelve grains. Yeah. So it adds a reasonable <laughs> amount to it. It, it does. So as Richard said, we did pre-check these, and the plastic knocks are all identical they seem to be. as yeah. far as as i say this particular set of scales that we've got which are more than accurate enough for this sort of work we do have a, an expensive set of grain scales which i uh, say we will we will show you just for the sake of showing you it um but these are the plastic knocks are are accurate so as far as matching goes you don't need to worry about it but as we've just pointed out you're still adding 12 grains to those arrow shafts you might have spent ages selecting anyway uh, so it's all worth bearing in mind. And what have we got uh, here? Feathers, well a four inch fletch. Okay. That's, that's three, three grains. grains. Three grains, okay. Three grains. Three grains. I don't think this is accurate enough to measure more than that, but no. each, each one of those is three grains. So three feathers, that's nine grains. On so you're adding nine on grains plus your 12 grains for your knock. And then whatever the, that one doesn't weigh that anything. doesn't weigh anything. This must be a good one. Oh no, there we go. Yeah. Oh no, no. I think the scales have got. Oh no, up. you've um, yeah. pressed the uh, pressed reset the it. There we go. I'll try again. Yeah, three, three grains. Yeah, so they're they're all about. Three but we'll try those on the super duper scale and um, see if we can me measure any difference between the actual feathers themselves. Okay. Well, well these are some more accurate scales that we have, and uh, they're actually weighing in grams, so we've got to convert it. 
uh, but they are very sensitive and they will weigh any dust that's on the pan so we've zeroed the thing uh, so put that feather on there and that comes to 0 0.2091 grams which okay converting that into grains is 3.2 grains so three grains really here we go let's take that one off try another one wait for it to reset itself so slip that one on see what that one weighs that's uh, 0.1838 1838 is 2.8 grains okay so it's slightly lighter than so, the other one yeah so it is less so if you've been hyper accurate <laughs> Not that it's going to make a huge amount of difference, but, no, but uh, across the they, set. Are, they are different, yeah. Well, let's check them, well, this last one then. That's settled down, so 0 0.1633. Three, three is 2.5 grains. Right, okay, so it's half a grain, half a half grain a different. Grain. So they are all different, let's put it that way. They all vary. Everything's different. Yeah, I everything's expect if different. we put some of those plastic knocks on, they might... Well, let's, let's try, try a plastic let's knot just a plastic for a laugh. Knot. On the super hyper accurate mega scale. Okay, so uh, on our normal scales, these can't, we can't tell like any difference. On the, on the normal one, they were all 12 grains. So let's try one on there. Oops. It's got to go on the thing. Oh, that's it, yeah. <laughs> so let's settle down 0.8295. 8295 is 12.8 12 .8 grains. 12.8. Let's settle down. 0 0.8055. 8055 is 12.4 grains. So they do vary. As we said, <laughs> everything's going to vary. Well, there are tolerances but, uh, in everything. Yeah. Which, and you've got to have tolerances in your arrows, I'm afraid. Yeah. That's 0 0.8076. 0 0.8076. 12.46. Yeah. So. so they are pretty accurate. But, but <laughs> as the point of the video is, everything's different. Um, but as you can see there, um, if you spend an awful lot of time measuring your arrow shafts as far as the weight goes because yeah. obviously with, with arrow shafts you can actually take amounts of wood off say even with just sandpaper and get the shafts to match weight wise you could take a bit off the back end but yeah it's probably not going to affect you've got to make sure you don't affect the spine you can't sand away yes you end up <laughs> get, the, get them all weighing identical and then the spines, the spines are all over all the wrong. place because the, yeah. the spine is is probably more important um People used to match their arrows. Going back to the Victorian times, people would ma mark their arrows. So if they knew an arrow went low, indicating that particular arrow was a little mm, bit, bit heavier than the others, mm. they would mark it, say, yep, yeah, that one that shoots low. When I shoot it, I'm going to aim the top of the target rather than at the gold. And they might have another arrow that goes slightly to the left. So they'd mark that one and you'd aim off to the right for that particular one. Mm. So wooden arrows... The actual, we're on about the spine, the, the bendiness of them, but they can vary. The density of the shaft can vary along, it, along its length. Uh, some of them are very um, elastic and will come back to their straight mm. position very quickly. Other ones, when we've bent them, they almost stay bent. Mm. So mm. That, that, that affects the flight yeah. of the arrow. Yeah. Um, Again, it, it, you, you can't compare a wooden arrow no. with a modern carbon or no. aluminium no arrow. no the, the, the process of manufacturer manufacturing of the modern type stuff doesn't allow for the tolerances that are naturally occurring within the wood no and, and if you really 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 wanted to come somewhere near to that level of accuracy and matching you would have to buy say off the top of my head say a hundred shafts in the approximate spine range that you're looking for probably a bag of a hundred piles if you want every single one of those to be exactly the same grain the feathers and the knocks are pretty much the same so you probably don't need to worry there 
but you're talking an awful lot of money, hundreds of pounds. <laughs> yeah. Um, in fact, you're probably talking as much, if not more, than a nice set of modern arrows now <laughs> anyway. You could, you could, well. So the, the price is, it, it just isn't worth it. <laughs> is really what we're trying to say. The price is just, it just would not be no, worth and, it. And be worth it. As I say, if we're going back to the other plus or minus 10 grains, that that's that's more than good, that's more than good enough, mm. I'm sure. Mm. But as I say, if you want to, you can match them, but you will need to very carefully weigh everything. If you're going to varnish the shafts, um, then mm. extra well, coat of varnish, we haven't yes. weighed that, but, no, but no. that that would uh, weigh, uh, yeah. weigh something. And you've got to accurately put on your your... your next layer of varnish on the other arrows you've got to make sure the same amount of varnish is going on each one yeah so whether you dip them or apply it with a rag or with a brush you've got to be accurate with every single shaft that you varnish you, you, you if have. you're going to get to yeah. that nth degree yeah you, you have so um yeah so there we are yeah well i hope that's given you all something to think about uh and hopefully uh, make you a little bit more relaxed about matching arrows and that perhaps you don't need to be no, quite just as hyper enjoy shooting them. Yeah. Don't worry about <laughs> I was it. I going to say, really <laughs> wouldn't worry about it. We've all been locked in for far too long uh, to be uh, worrying. If you, if you haven't done this over the last 18 months, <laughs> spent months matching your arrows, um, I suggest you just go out there and yeah. shoot them now. Pra really. yeah, perhaps a bit more practice, practice. shooting would be... Uh, <laughs> that, that would add much more to your score yeah. than uh, your arrows. Yeah, yeah. you've got your mate next door who spends days matching stuff, and you've been out shooting arrows i can guarantee the person that who's been out shooting arrows is going to shoot better than the guy who's at home matching his arrow shafts. i think so um so anyway there you are i hope you enjoyed that uh, we do obviously do have a website where we collate all these videos and various information on making the bows and arrows with all our million years of experience we've been putting that into that website unfortunately that website does cost us money and is difficult for us to maintain and to continue making these videos because it takes time out of the workshop even though we're in the workshop we're not making you things we're making videos whilst we're doing this so if you'd like to help us by using the donate button feel free that will be in the description box below as will be the link to these items if you want to buy the grain scales so it comes with this really lovely thing that i just dropped oh dear oh no i've broken it no, 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 no it stands no, up to right. being dropped yeah you are. it's indestructible <laughs> usually when we drop things in the workshop they you disappear never find it ever again there, there's a for holding the arrow shaft there's another the dimension, those. and there's a, a, a vortex, a portal, or black hole. A, a portal through to yeah. a different dimension. It's another Bowyer's workshop in another dimension. Yeah. And all these things keep turning up there. And, and he does videos on stuff turning up <laughs> in his workshop. Yeah, we do we, unboxings, and stuff appears in his we, workshop. Yeah, we got stuff that disappear. We've got a thing that turns up, though. Nothing useful anyway. No, not that good. <laughs> so, yeah, all those details will be below, as I say, links to these items and the website and all that other stuff. And do not feel that you have to donate. We don't care either way. If you don't, we don't have to spend our making time making no, videos no, no, or making no, a website. No, no. We no. can actually make bows and arrows instead. So there we go. We hope you enjoyed that. And if you are new, please do subscribe and give us a thumbs up and a like and put a comment below about your tales of matching arrow shafts, which we'll be really interesting yeah, perhaps someone's got an easy way to do <laughs> yeah, it yeah you know the secret let us know, let us know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway there you are folks thanks very much for watching and we'll see you again soon and i've put some videos over his face and a, a subscribe button over my face so if you'd like to click on either of those preferably his <laughs>